Hello and welcome everyone to Guardians of Tear. My name's Barry and you're watching Northants Wargamers on the road at board in Brummie, Walsall. Today's game is round two of the pitch battle tournament between Order and Chaos. We have Mike S on the right with an Order control deck containing Vora Starstrike and Hamish has an aggro Chaos quick quest with Scarbrand. We saw Hamish in round one, so we know what damage output that his deck is capable of. So let's see how Mike's Death by a Thousand Cuts control deck fares against it. So with this new series that we're doing, all of us at North Ants Wargamers are going to be venturing out and trying to get to um, pitch battle tournaments that are around us. Um, mainly no more than an hour and a half, but that means that we can go down to London, we can go up to Birmingham, we can get to Nottingham. So it gives us quite a widespread so we can try and support as many stores as possible um, in the pitch battle format. So we've got Liberator Prime, Vandas Hammerhand. Knight Heraldor and Voris Starstrike. Hamish has got Blood Reaver Chieftain, Ogroid Thermoturge and Scarbrand. So Mike starts on 35 health, Hamish starts on 29. And game on. Hamish opens with the Gore Slick Skull Reaper, dealing one damage. Scarbrand completes his first quest and a Blood Fury Wrathmonger and the Blood Reaver Chieftain does his first quest. Both of those units have got last stand. Blood Fury Wrathmonger removes a unit in front of it and the Gorslick Skull Reaper deals two damage. So piercing shot from uh, Van der Samerhand. So that's three damage to Hamish, but the Ogroy Thermoturge deals two in return because an ability is used down his lane. Then we've got a guided Vanguard Hunter in, so that completes Van der Sea's second quest. Hamish wastes no time, doing two damage with the Blood Fury Wrathmonger, draws two cards. Guided Vanguard Hunter deals one in return. So these guys are rattling through their actions. So the guided Vanguard Hunter is really cool. His heroic act can ping him around the board and um, hit that the troublesome first quest on either Vandus or the Liberator Prime. So Mike's drawn two cards. Hamish has done two damage from the Blood Fury Wrathmonger, three from the Gorslick Skull Reaper and puts Flesh to Stone into play, drawing a card. Okay, draws another card. There we go. So he's got some good draw going on. Two damage from the um, Vanguard Hunters. So some of you might have noticed the token that Mike's using. That's um, made. Uh, that's a biscuit, the Will Hall Experience biscuit token. Um, Luke Taylor makes those, a friend of Will's. So, and Hamish managed to bag one at the Warhammer weekend. Liberator Prime going in under Vora Starstrike. Completes his first quest. So he's trying to control the Blood Reaver Chieftain so he can't complete his third quest of a unit. Slow Hamish down a little bit. So Triumphant Smash on Flesh to Stone. So he gets rid of Flesh to Stone he remove he uh, but he takes two damage in return. Uh, he shouldn't have put the guarded Vanguard Hunter backwards because it wasn't a unit. Reveals Vandas' last quest, so it's a frenzied order blessing. So another seven damage. So Hamish is now on eleven. Scarbrand has now activated his special power. Furious strike for eight damage. Here comes the pain train. That's Hamish got another one. Okay, so rush to the front. So he completes his um, last quest. He gets Outrageous Carnage. So he's going to do four damage and remove the units in the three lanes. So uh, the lane in front of him and both lanes adjacent. Vandas Hammerhand deals three damage to Hamish because he's removed a unit 
under his control. So Hamish is now down to eight. So massive amount of burst damage there. So Mike's just talking about opportunity strike will finish him off. So Hamish is drawing. Either didn't have an ability to finish him off or only had units. So fished hopefully for an ability. See what he does. If he gets that rec reckless assault or reckless abandon, it will be over. Blood Fury Raphmunger does two. Demonic Fury does eight damage. Finishing Mike off. There we go. So Hamish takes game one. Just under six minutes. Well done, Hamish. And here we have game two. Let's see if Mike can bring it back. Mike's decided to go first. So we've got a Liberator Prime. Hamish opens with the Blood Reaver Chieftain and then he places his second. So under pitch battle rules, basically you can have five champions. So you can change your lineup um, between each game. You've got a sideboard of nine cards as well, so you can switch some cards out, depending on your matchup. Mike lay, lays a Knight Heraldor. And Voris, so it looks like he's done the same setup, but the opposite way around. Hamish has gone for Ogroid, Thermaturge, and Scarbrand. They're in the same positions. Vanders is opposite. Scarbrand this time though. Let's see if it makes a difference. So game on. Okay, so Mike draws two. Hamish opens up with Glimpse the Future, draws a card. So he can either, in the following turns, he can either look at through his own deck or he can look through Mike's top three cards, uh, either put them in an order that he likes or shuffle them. Of course, Slick Skull Reaper goes into play, dealing one Ren damage. Mike's drawing two. He's trying to get his control cards so Scarbrand doesn't get out of control like he did last turn. So um, Mike's got Hurricane Raptors, he's got Thundering Concussors, he's got Liberator Primes to try and um, control what Hamish is going to do. Um, so essentially he's got six cards which will stop Hamish from um, playing abilities. So Fearless Corgraphs go in, dealing two damage, and now Mike can't deploy under Vandas Hammerhand. Uh, sorry, can't deploy under Forest Star Strike. Blood Fury Wrathmonger goes in, dealing two damage, one damage to himself. So full board for Hamish, so he's going to be drawing next turn. So even though Hamish has got a big board, he hasn't actually dealt that much damage yet. So he's only actually dealt five. Um, the Blood Fury Wrathmonger is going to deal, you know, that's a massive damage dealing unit. And so is that Gorslick Skull Reaper. So we'll soon see a lot of health come from Mike. Um, Mike needs to start putting some units down, start getting some control on this. So Hamish hasn't got it his, all his own way. Guardy Vanguard Hunter going into play, deals one damage. And draws a card. Hamish goes. Two damage from the Blood Fury Wrathmonger. Three rend damage from Gorslick Skull Reaper. Draws a card from Glimpse of the Future. And one damage from Fearless Corgraphs. So there we go. So Hamish basically draws three cards that turn. One damage from the Guided Vanguard Hunter. So, looking like next turn Hamish is going to play another unit under the um, top 
Blood Reaver Chieftain. So he will uh, more than likely have an event in his hand as well. So he will complete that quest. Okay, tactical removal. So he's going to exhaust that Fearless Corgrath. And then he's putting a Disruptive Liberator into play. So stop Hamish from laying under that Blood Reaver Chieftain. So two damage from Blood Fury Wrathmonger. And Hamish is going to look at his stack. Gets to, gets to look at the top three cards. Put them back in any order he likes. So rush to the front, so Hamish gets to move a unit in front of him, but he gets an additional action which completes um, Scarbrand's first ability quest. So it's whether or not he's got another event or another ability so he can complete Scarbrand. So he's thinking about it, that's for sure. There we go. So pack of blood letters, one damage. And then he's going to draw. So he didn't have that event that he wanted to do. So two damage from the Vanguard Hunters, one damage from the Liberator, uh, Disruptive Liberators. Sorry. So both these players went to the Warhammer World event, um, the constructed one on the Sunday. Um, both of these players got into the top 16. So they definitely know what they're doing. So Mike's trying to work out where to put his next control piece to try and unlock Hamish's puzzle. He's decided to draw two cards. So one damage from the pack of blood letters. So Furious Strike, here comes Scarbrand's Blessing. So four damage from Furious Strike. Total Carnage is revealed, so... The best blessing to have under Scarbrand. Flesh of Stone comes out, so Hamish has now got card draw. So two damage from the Disruptive Liberator, two damage from the Guided, guided Vanguard Hunter. So Hamish is nearly on for Scarbrand's ability. Night Herald Or to rotate out that Guided Vanguard Hunter and Hurricane Raptor goes into play. So now Hamish can't play abilities through Scarbrand. So next turn, the Hurricane Raptor will put Hamish below 15, so Total Carnage will come into play. Um, so if the pack of blood letters is still there, that's going to be six damage dealt. Okay, so Blood Fury Wrathmonger going into play, two damage. One damage to Hamish, and now Scarbrand's activated. He just can't play anything through it because of the Hurricane Raptor. So we've still got Voris's um, ability. He's still got his heroic act, so he can reset these Hurricane Raptors to, to keep Scarbrand under control, keep that blessing back. Two damage from the Hurricane Raptor. Hamish is on 13. That pack of blood letters will deal six damage next turn. And that will put Mike down to seven.
So if Hamish can reveal outrageous carnage with the Blood Reaver Chieftain at the bottom by playing an event, then he will clear off that Hurricane Raptor and then, depending on what's in his hand, he could finish off um, Mike with a couple of events. So he's either going to Voris and keep that Hurricane Raptor or maybe play a card to reset that unit. The thing is he has got Lord of Hosts in his deck but can't play it because Voris is on the far side. So Thundering Concussor goes into play, so it stops any events being, or abilities being played through the Blood Fury Wrathmonger, um, Blood Reaver Chieftain lane. So he's locked that down, so Outrageous Carnage is not going to be revealed if that was under the Blood Reaver Chieftain. So it's kind of like leaving Hamish this Blood Reaver Chieftain at the top to try and finish um, finish Mike off. So tactical removal to get rid of that pack of blood letters. That's going to take six damage though. Because rotating forward takes six, six damage. He was better off rotating the flesh to stone through though and giving Hamish a card. Okay, two damage from the Blood Through Fury Wrathmonger. Hamish draws a card. Everything's got to go through the. Everything's got to go through that Blood Reaver Chieftain. So pack of blood letters, one damage. Mike is down to four health left. Has Hamish got an ability? Probably doesn't look like it because he is drawing a card. If I had an event, I would go for it. He's got Outrageous Carnage in his, in his Blessing Row, so that would win him the game. No, he's drawing. So, Mike's go. So, one damage from the Thundering Concussor. Raptors go out of play. Hamish is down to 10. Another Hurricane Raptor goes in, so he's down to 9. So, completes Vandas' quest. Divine... Blast, that's six damage, two health back for Mike. Hamish is down to three. So if he has piercing shot in his hand, it doesn't look like it. So Mike's saying that he wanted um, abjuration out to make Hamish dormant. So he's just working things out. So Knight Heraldor to rotate the Hurricane Raptor. Deals two damage in Hamish's next turn. The Blood Fury Wrathmonger deals one to himself. And Mike wins that game. So one apiece. Here we go. Game three. So Hamish is going first. Blood Reaver Chieftain. Liberator Prime. And Knight Heraldor. So Hamish is going to lay two cards. So we've got the Blood Reaver Chieftain going at the bottom. So it's the same setup as last time at the moment. So exactly the same. Van der Samerhand and Voris Starstrike go into play. So Mike's reversed his order again. Hamish starts on 29. Mike starts on 35. So game on. Flesh to stone. Hamish gets to draw a card. Gore Slick Skull Reaper goes into play. One damage, one Ren damage to Mike. So two com quests completed for Hamish. Mm -hmm. 
So, guided Vanguard Hunter going into play. First quest done for, for uh, Van der Samerhand. It's one damage to Hamish. And a Dracoline Evocator going into play. Doesn't do any damage yet. But um, next turn, instead of the one, because Hamish controls a unit adjacent in an adjacent lane, the um, Dracoline Evocator goes up by one damage. So it will do two. Personally think it would have been better off the other way because if Hamish fills his lane, um, he would have more chance really with the Dracoline Evocator being under Vandus. Pack of blood letters, one damage. First quest done for the Blood Reaver Chieftain at the top. One damage from the Guided Vanguard Hunter. One damage, for, well, two damage from the Dracoline Evocator because there is a Gore Slick Skull Reaper in play. So if Hamish removes that Vanguard Hunter, he's going to take three damage under Vandus, but... Three damage from the Gorslick Skull Reaper. He draws a card from Flesh to Stone and one damage from the Pack of Blood Letters. Rush to the front. So Hamish is going to move the Gorslick Skull Reaper out of the way. Hamish still keeps his action. So Demonic Fury, five damage to Mike, two damage to himself. He gets Total Carnage out. So he's got the best blessing again. Um, both players, um, basically, they placed... The, their opponent's blessing, so it is completely random. So Hamish takes three damage from the Dracoline Evocator. No, he doesn't. He takes two damage from the Dracoline Evocator because there's nothing adjacent to it now. Two damage from the Vanguard Hunter. So Hamish is just sorting out that Blood Reaver Chieftain at the top because he would have done his second quest line. Blood Reaver Chieftain at the bottom has not done his quest because the Gore Slick Skull Reaper was moved onto his lane. I would be really tempted to move the um, Guided Vanguard Hunter onto the Liberator Prime. Hurricane Raptor goes in, one damage. So that should have been the first quest done for the Night Herald Or. Mike hasn't spun it. So if the Vanguard Hunter moves on to Liberator, basically the Liberator's difficult first quest would be done. He can't do it now. So Guided Vanguard Hunter goes in under him, one damage. Hamish clears his board, one damage from the Pack of Blood Letters. Hamish draws two. One damage from the Guided Vanguard Hunter, two from the next, two from the Hurricane Raptors, and two from the Dracoline Evocator. So more than likely we're going to see a Voris reset here. There we go. So Voris starts again. So he's going to take another three damage there from all the ones that were reset. Hamish is down to eight. So Scarbrand is active, but with the Hurricane Raptor being there, there's not a lot he can do. If he's got Tactical... Uh, no, no, he can't even... Well, he could play Tactical Formation if he had it in his hand and move Scarbrand out and start doing some damage. Okay, Hamish is just reminding Mike that the Night Herald or Heroic Act is not available because Vora Starstrike did his. So Mike elects to draw a card instead. Three damage from the pack of blood letters. Mike's down to 20. Blood Hunt to get rid of the guided Vanguard. One health back. Hamish is up to nine. Draws a card. So one, three, four damage. Hamish is down to five. Needs to either move Scarbrand or get rid of that Hurricane Raptor. So Mike keep wants to play Order Before Glory to reset the Hurricane Raptor. Um, he would draw a card and he would 
to reset the Hurricane Raptor, he would he would rotate the uh, champion back one step. So he's just asking Hamish if that's okay, because if you've got to do the trigger, but Hamish is being the gentleman that he is, he hasn't got a problem. So that Knight Herodor should be facing upwards again because he reset the Hurricane Raptor, so he should move that Knight Herodor one step back. So Hamish is down to four. Tactical removal gets rid of that pack of blood letters, so he's ensuring that if Hamish had blood for the blood god that he couldn't play it. And get five health back. That's it, game. Hamish concedes. Well done, Mike. He is uh, now 2 0. We shall see him in the next round. So, like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.